With the World Choir Games starting Wednesday, a lot of events and celebrations are set to take place across the Tri-State. You know, it can be quite confusing, but several websites are sure to make it easier to keep up with. Along with WCPO.com, there's also 2012WorldChoirGames.com, ChoirTV.com as well. So we need some help. Kelsey <laughs> Clark and Henrietta, Henrietta Brockman are here to tell us about both. So ladies, what do we expect online? There's a lot of stuff. Um, our website is going to be a one-stop shop. This is really going to be the best resource you can get anything and everything you want to know about the World Choir Games. It's going to be at 2012worldchoirgames.com. All right, so then, Henrietta, tell us about videos on choirtv.com. Yeah. Choirtv.com is a new website we launched uh, just a few weeks ago, and um, we will have a World Choir Games channel on that, and we have a professional film team coming with us from Germany, and uh, they will produce videos every day, and we have every day new oh, videos cool. online. Mm -hmm. yes. So we can probably see ourselves at an event then, if yeah, we go online and look at that, and right? And you can join in, you create, can create an account and uh, upload your own videos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was my next question. How do we, you know, the Tri-Staters get involved in this online extravaganza? Yeah, we really want everyone to just experience the games, experience all that our city has to offer. And you can do that in many ways. We have Facebook, Twitter, um, Twitter, there's going to be a live Twitter feed. Um, we're just asking you guys to share your experiences online and to use our hashtag as 2012WCG. I just, by the way, started following it today. Oh, perfect, so perfect. there you go, you got another follower <laughs> in me. Okay, well, any elements on this, what, these websites that aren't up yet that you want us to know about? Yeah, so it's going to be a couple of things. In the next few days, just be expecting there's going to be a live blog. It's going to be front and center on our website. It's going to have everything, all the latest news. There's going to be helpful tips of the day. Um, it could be anything from traffic traffic updates to a general FAQ about the World Choir Games. Um, there's going to be, again, the Twitter feed, like I mentioned. There's also going to be a dynamic event calendar. Um, you're gonna, now going to be able to search by keywords, by venue, and to really sort through all those 200 fun events that are going to be held in Cincinnati. It's going to be a lot easier to search for those and to find those that are most interested, that you, that you find most interesting. Awesome. Now, Henrietta, I, I, I'm throwing you a curveball here. I don't, didn't talk <laughs> yeah. to you about this, but if you have, like, let's say we have a guest staying with us from another country, will the, there be a way to follow this in a different language? Are, are there different ways to search from an international standpoint, or should we let those folks deal with that themselves? No, they, they should do this. The same thing? Okay. Yeah, and, and also now with like Google, we have Google Translate, everything. So, our so website, the translators. Our yeah. website will be translated. So That's if, if someone comes to. from a different or different country, they speak a different that speak a different language, they will see it in their in their own language their first language. And, and I, I should, to I should mention the reason I asked Henrietta that is because she's from Germany. And so yes. how are you finding Cincinnati so far? You've been here maybe a week, maybe not. Yes, uh, I got in on Tuesday and I think it's very, very nice here and I'm happy to be here. And um, I was so proud to meet Kelsey because we were working together for two years and um, we met in person for the first time yeah. last week. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's like being it's pen pals and I finally know. getting to reach really? other. And that's, and that's how yeah. it's going to be with a lot of these choirs. It's a really going to be them, cool, isn't it? A lot of them have been talking online, and they're finally going to meet for the first time in person in Cincinnati. So it's pretty cool. i got to tell you guys, if you're not excited about this yet, tr you should be, because there's so many cool things happening in our city. I can't wait to take the kids downtown, just go okay. strolling around and just hear different mm -hmm. languages being spoken in our city. I think it's going to be fantastic. Kelsey, Henrietta, I, th I hope I'll see you again over the course of the yeah. next two weeks. Thanks Thank so you. much Thanks for so popping much. by. We Thank appreciate, so really appreciate it. Of course, WCPO is the official TV sponsor of the World Choir Games, so we have plenty of information, links, schedules, all that stuff on WCPO.com mm -hmm. as well. And you know what? You could win four free tickets to the World Choir Games. All you have to do is like the WCPO Facebook page. We're going to draw two winners tomorrow. First prize gets you four tickets to the closing ceremonies on July 14th at U.S. Bank Arena. Second prize is four tickets to pop the night away at the Aronoff on July 6th.